What's up guys? So today we are going to check out different shed companies. We're gonna check out the Dirksen dealer, Winslow dealer, and then Home Depot and see which one's best and what we think would be the pros and cons of each building. As most of you know, we converted ours. We did um, a Dirkton shed 16 by 50, and we found some stuff that we like and don't like in it. And so we're gonna kind of show that off and kind of let you guys know our opinion on the matter. So a lot of you are on a budget and you wanna do something small and tiny, which is cool. So let's check this out compared to a larger one or the barn style. We'll start here with the doors. A lot of people like them because it's the French door, but you need to think about how you're actually gonna lock it and you know, seal it off and look, I'm only like 5'7 and it's not very tall. So it's not a real door, but you do get both doors that open up, which is pretty cool. This is a uh, 10 by 16. This one runs $3,500 and you could pay about $150, $160 a month. It's not bad. Uh, we like this because you get 16 inch on center studs. The roof is 24 inch on centers. Um, you get the cross beam up top and it's ventilated. You can easily close that top off as a ceiling and it would ventilate from side to side, which is a huge pro. One thing I wanted you guys to see is how the rafters connect. These are two by fours because it's a small building, but right there, it connects all the way and you get a lot more surface for the two by four hitting the top beam. So now that we checked out this style, let's go check out more of the uh, barn style. Same small shed, but different roof. Here's the barn style roof. We think it's awesome. You're gonna get a lot more uh, space. You're gonna get loft space up there. But the one thing you need to consider is you still have low doors. And if you want to put a patio on yours, you gotta realize that you it's gonna be super low and you're gonna have to hook it on up there underneath that ridge and come out. So just keep that in mind if you're going to do um, this style. But again, you get the same doors. Which is great, you can move big furniture in and stuff, but again, I'm like five, seven-ish, and my head's almost hitting, so just keep that into consideration. And uh, no, you can't put a real door on this thing. So this is the exact same size as the other one that we were just in, except it looks a lot bigger because you have the lofts up top, which is great. Um, the hard thing is that you need to realize if you're gonna get something like this is ventilation. So you're gonna have to do more of the spray foam and not the normal paint insulation because you need to vent out and you're not gonna be able to do that unless you put ridge plates in and stuff, which is gonna be a little difficult in something like this. And I know a lot of you want these lofts to sleep in, maybe your kids and stuff like that. You just need to consider as well, you're gonna have to beat, you're gonna have to beat this up. It's not very strong, they're two by fours. So you can put two by sixes across and be fine, but I don't know if I'd trust that with the kid being up there or, I mean, a kid might be fine, but an adult, I'm not sure. A lot of these sheds come with these windows already in them. They're not bad for what it is, and I'm not gonna, you know, downplay what they are. But if you're looking to really insulate your building, these are single pane, they're not double pane. They'll break pretty easy. Um, they're, you can't really lock them. You have to use these little clip things to close them. Like it locks, I guess if you wanna call it that, but it just, to me, they're not as good as your good double pane windows and they're not very large. 
we got all of our um, windows from Habitat for Humanity. They were all brand new, huge windows, $200 total, and they were brand new with the tags still on them. Now we know some of you guys have bigger budgets and can afford a little more, so let's go check out some of the larger buildings that they have on this lot. So now I want to show you one of those larger ones, this barn style. I believe it's a 16 by 40-ish. Um, they might have a paper up in here, so we'll do that. This one I think may have been a repo. It's been here a while, so there is no telling what we're going to find in this. Um, up here. It's got the nice window, which I assume is in a loft. Uh, again, you get higher um, ceilings in it, which is great. You get the wider building in this. This one, you get the taller door, which is great. Um, you can build a porch coming out from there very easily. But again, they're not real doors. You can get them custom made. Um, I think you pay a little bit more money and they'll put real doors on there. But, let's see, again, I'm 5'7", and here's the entrance. So, with these loft or barn ones, you're getting smaller doors. Now, in here, you can tell the loft is a lot bigger. These beams are just to hold the house or the shed stable right now, so whenever they move it, um, it's not going to shift or anything in transport, but again, 16 by 40, you can do a lot with this space. We like how this loft, they have, uh, and those might be two by eights, maybe. Um, I think those are two by eights. And then, yeah, two by eights, and then the, the roof, since it's a bigger roof, is two by sixes. So again, with Dirksen, you get the 16 inch on center. Um, I think standard comes with 16 inch on center floors. We upgraded ours to 12 inch on center. This um, doesn't have house wrap on it. You can get house wrap. That's what we got. You can get the dormer on top. Um, I think it was like $200 to get house wrap on the whole thing, which you're crazy if you don't get it. But this is built a lot better than the other ones. The windows are bigger. They're the same single pane, pane windows. But again, you get very large ceilings, huge loft, big uh, two by 10 uh, rafters going across. So this is a very strong build. Like I said, it's been here for a while and it looks exactly the same. So let's go check out another one of the um, larger buildings here. So here's a metal building. I think it's about 12 feet uh, wide by, I don't know, probably 36 feet maybe. And so let's check this out. I haven't been in this one yet. And so I'm kind of curious myself to see what it looks like. Again, you get the barn doors. You actually have wood on the walls, which is crazy. I didn't expect that. It's a 12 by 30, so it's pretty close. $6,700, and you're paying almost $300 um, for rent a month. This one, since it's a metal building, they did 24 inch on center studs, which I wouldn't trust, I'd rather do it on 16, but I wasn't expecting the plywood inside the metal, which is great. And you'll see on another company that they don't do that. So let's go check out a log style cabin. So a lot of you get these that aren't painted or anything, and we just wanted to show you that this is a repo, and this is probably, I would assume, maybe a year, two years old, and you're gonna see what the outside looks like so if you get it, get it painted, get it clear coated, whatever you need to do, just protect it or it's going to look like this. So here's the log style, which is really cool looking on the outside. This looks like a repo. So let's see what in the world they did to this thing. So here's going to be a very good example of what to do and what not to do in your shed. Like I said, it's a repo. They looks like they started, they did insulation, then they put the plastic up, which I don't think you need plastic on here since this is this type of insulation. I could be wrong, but uh, you guys can correct me on that. So I assume this is gonna be the kitchen, living room area. I'm not 100% sure what they're going with, but they apparently try to do a ceiling with this. 
which is very flimsy. I wouldn't recommend that. And then, I don't know what this is. Bathroom. They try to do all their stuff in here, which didn't turn out very well. And then, this looks like a small bedroom back here. So even though this is not the best build, it kind of gives you an idea of how you could, um, you know, lay it out. You can have your bathroom there, bedroom back there, uh, kitchen and um, living room here. So even though this isn't what you would want to do, it's a good example of what you could do. So I just want to give my overview opinion on the dirt skin sheds. I think they're great. They're built very well. You just need to make sure that you upkeep it. Pay for the things you actually want. Get some house wrap on there. Get 16 inch on center um, walls. Get 12 inch on center floors. Uh, get better windows if you can. Um, again, if you're gonna get one of these untreated buildings, make sure you paint it or treat it. The build quality is actually really good. We haven't had any issues with ours. Um, we have a 16 by 50 again and it's very big and there's a lot of things that go wrong, but man, it's built good. We've been in some crazy storms already and it's held up just as good as any house we've ever lived in. So I would say Durskin is a very, very good dealer, but let's go check out Winslow's across the street. Some of you may recognize this barn in the back. This is uh, where we got our barn from, which we absolutely love. They build barns and garages very, very well. But now let's check out the little sheds and see how they compare to the other company. So as you can tell, this is the exact same thing from uh, the other company. This is Winslow's here in Quinlan, Texas. And the other company is literally right down the street, but you get the same lofted barn style, the same doors and everything, but let's check out what's different. So as you can tell, the doors are the same, actually maybe even slightly smaller. Um, again, I'm 5'7", it's pretty small. And then in here, you get 16 inch on centers, which is great. Um, the floor to me is not as sturdy, but they do use this good um, Gorilla Glue made wood. And then up here, as you can tell in the, the rafters, these are two by sixes. No, I mean two by fours, and they don't even stick on the whole way. That's what scares me. They're only held in by one or two screw or um, one or two nails up here on each side which is a little iffy. So now let's check out the pricing on this. This one is $4,000. It's a 10 by 18, zero down, $83 a month, but for 84 months, that's with, with approved credit. They have a loft. Um, the loft in this one's a little better. They have two by six um, lo uh, rafters up here, which is way better. But again, it scares me with the two by six um, Raptors up top that don't really meet the side walls. You get the ridge gap up here that is open to let air out, so it's good if you're gonna ventilate it, but in here, I don't know how you're going to actually ventilate without doing um, like closed cell foam. So I think this is the biggest shed they have here. Um, I'm not sure what size it is. It looks like a 12 by, I don't know, 26 or something. So let's check out what it looks like. Again, it's cool, you get this little porch. Um, to me, this is built a little better. Um, seems a little stronger than the other rails at the other place, but I'm not, I don't really like the look. The door, you actually have a real door on here. This is a 12 by 28, 8,500 bucks, $182 a month, but that's 84 months with approved credit. Again, this is what scares me about this place. That's a two by four that's held on with barely, not even half of the two by four holding that up with a couple of nails, which is enough to make me run away. We bought our barn from here, which is freaking amazing. It's held up through a bunch of storms, but this just scares me. You do get the 16 inch on center walls. Again, the floor, it's sturdy, but it's not as good as the other one, I think. Um, this one is closed off on top, but you don't get the air ventilation um, vents at the other place. And then the window is the same 
it's just the normal shed windows which single pane you're not really going to hold in a lot of uh heat and cold so we're going to check out one of their metal buildings and see how that is i like the big porch on it this one which i'm kind of surprised um, actually has some wood up here um, it's pretty strong the door's kind of small but it's very wide so you can fit a lot of stuff in there it's actually a real door this one since it's a metal building has uh 24 inch on center studs seven thousand dollars 12 by 24 150 dollars for 72 months with approved credit this one is a little different because i believe yeah it's just metal i think back there i don't think there's any wood but this foam insulation stuff is amazing it works very well and then up here which kind of freaks me out is these very wide this is probably like three feet or more at least three feet and um it's not built the way i would probably want to live in but if this is all you can afford it is what it is but again your rafters are barely on here um it's sitting on a two by four and 24 inch on the center the loft the loft is actually built pretty well like i said has wood on the outside two by six really big it's got the vent up there but overall i wouldn't live in it our neighbor actually has one of these for storage and it works great but i wouldn't live in it so this is the Winslow place here in Quinlan, Texas. Um, overall, I think they make great carports. I think they make great farms, but I wouldn't recommend living in one of their uh, sheds. But we're gonna go check out Home Depot in Terrell now. So we're here at Home Depot, and I see a lot of people post about this one. So let's go check it out. As of right now, it looks like it's $325 a month if you finance it. Uh, this shown is $20,000. Um, the deck is pretty good, good height. You have a real size door. This is the same door that we have on ours. It's pretty good, good height, normal door. Again, two story. So you get the nice, uh, looks like two by 12 rafters up there, which is really good and strong. You get the uh, little bit better upgraded windows. Um, it's actually a little thicker, so it's not bad. Um, so that's a pro. You get 16 inch on center walls, which is a pro. Uh, I'm not a builder, but this looks to be pretty thick. Pretty good, pretty good. And then let's go check out upstairs. Let's see how good these stairs are. These aren't bad, but I would probably replace them if I was actually going to live in it. Make it a little nicer. This railing is a little weak. I would uh, beef that up if I were to live in this thing. I have no clue about these rafters. Um, I'm sure they're fine. I just never really seen them like this. So if you're more of a, a contractor, let us know in the comments below, you know, how well these look because uh, I truly don't know. But it looks like it has that vapor barrier up there, which is probably pretty well. It's got uh, ventilation up top on each side. I'm not really sure how you would ventilate it you have to kind of build the ceiling up to there and stuff but again plenty of windows the windows are a lot better here than they were at the Winslow place and even um, Thurston and the floor it's a little bouncy but not bad for a, a true story this is actually stronger floor than the Winslow floors so overall I'd say this one's not that bad but for $20,000 no way we got a 16 by 50 with a dormer on top um, all upgraded stuff to it for 17,000 so I personally would not go with this but to each their own so let's go check out another one of them so here's a really rad looking one it's super small but it's got the dormer up top 
Um, this is definitely more of a small shed. There's the pricing. The doors on these are built a lot better than uh, the other ones as far as uh, shed doors go. You get the nice tall ceiling, which is awesome. You get good rafters in here, which is pretty good. A lot better than I thought it would be. Um, the ceiling rafters, they're all right. They're definitely built a lot better. The whole rafter is on top of the two by four stud. The dorm up here is pretty awesome. You get the uh, extra light, extra headroom. You got the uh, barrier up there, which is great. You don't have house wrap on here, which I'm sure you can get. But again, this is just a smaller one. This is a this would be a really, really cool tiny house if you're on a budget. Um, again, this is about, this one actually is crazy. It has almost $3,000 in upgrades, but you know, if you want to pause on this whenever you're watching the video to get some more details on what, you know, how it breaks down, there you go. So this one's cool. Uh, I really like the barn style on it. It's two story as well. It's got the tall porch on it. A little bit of a porch sticks out. Looks like, I don't know, six feet, five feet maybe. It's supposed to be a four foot one, but the door on it is uh, definitely barn style. The pricing, 17,000. Uh, I don't know what the base would look like, but this is gonna look almost exactly like the other two stories. This one, this one has electricity already ran in it. I'm not sure to what it looks like. It's a shop light, but the windows, you get the same kind of windows, um, same walls, same structure on top. Um, let's check on the stairs. These stairs are a little different, as you can tell. These are um, OSB boards and not uh, the big planes like the other one. The roof is built a little different in this. It doesn't have those crazy rafters and it's a little lower. This rail is complete garbage. Um, I would definitely beef it up if you were to attempt this one. Your ceilings, if you put the uh, attic space in, would be very small but doable for maybe kids. Um, this is actually a really great thing if you do have kids, it'd be enough space, but this just does not seem very strong. Um, I would add a lot more support to it. Um, you get good rafters, but overall, this one's just not as good as uh, I would expect it to be. But I would rather live in this than the Winslow um, ones. So if I had to give my feedback on the Home Depot ones, they're not bad. They're actually better built than the Winslow, I think. The price is a lot more. You can't really do rent to own. You gotta finance here and get the credit card. If you're gonna come to Home Depot, just buy the wood and build it yourself. You get it a lot cheaper, but you have to have the knowledge of building. So if you can't, I just wouldn't recommend the Home Depot unless you have the extra money. So we just wanted to give our input um, from what we've learned and seen. We, we literally went all over Texas looking at different companies before we bought ours. We spent over a year uh, researching and doing everything like that and as you can tell we did a 16 by 50. So thank you guys for watching this video. We really hope it helped you guys out. You learned some information. Please check us out on Facebook, Instagram, all the cool social media sites and keep in touch with us. Please leave a comment below with things that I missed, things that you want to see. And yes, I've said some wrong things in there about vapor barrier, different size studs said the name of the company wrong. It is what it is. I'm human. I mess up. But thank you guys so much for watching and please stick around for 2019.